everyone, it's Megan. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. And I'm coming at you today with my weekly repeats and reviews. And I don't have too much exciting stuff to talk about because I've only really been experimenting with makeup like the past like two and a half days. Because the first part of the week I basically use exactly the same stuff as the week before that you saw. And um, I'm going to go through that. But I first wanted to mention this because I'm really disappointed. And I never ever return makeup. But this is going back. I'm so, so sad. And it's the Pruenza Schuler MAC Blush Ombre in Sunset Beach. I just showed you guys this yesterday and I said I never, um, I didn't wear it on my face yet. And I tried to wear it today. I was going for like a really beachy look because I um, did some self tanner and I'll show you um, one of the things that I really liked. Um, I didn't even want a pink blush, but I really wanted to try this out to let you guys know how it is. It is so patchy and I looked insane, like genuinely insane, even though it didn't go with this look. It was too, um, this was too bright of a pink for my, my skin tone and also it was just patchy and horrible and, um, I am returning this and I love the packaging. I really love the concept of it and I'm so, so bummed about this, but, um, I kind of in my mind after I saw reviews of it I knew that it was going to be great at application but I didn't think it would be this bad so maybe it's just mine I don't know but um, I'm returning this I've never returned anything to MAC so I um, don't know how that process will really go but I'm going to um, send it out in the mail tomorrow because I this was like $30 and I'm not happy with it at all so I I'm just gonna say goodbye to it and um, if you spend $30 on a product you have to at least like it and preferably you should be in love with it and think that it's amazing. This is not any of those things. Um, hopefully you guys have better luck if you bought one of these blushes but this does not work for me. I wanted to give you guys an update on that and um, say goodbye to it because you'll never see it again in my video so bye Proenza I'm really sorry but you just I don't like you very much so um for this week um the stuff that I used a lot I've been um sticking with my base routine and um I'm still trying to use up the Brandt Dr. Brandt pours no more seriously every day I think this is going to just be done but um I squeeze it from the top all the way to the bottom and there still has product in it so I probably have one or two or three more days with this. Um, hopefully, I don't love this, like you guys have heard me say it um, every week, um, but I'm just trying to use it up. And it's not horrible, I just don't like love it. And then um, still for my base, I've been using the Nearly Naked and the Photo Ready BB Cream from Revlon. This, the Nearly Naked, I probably have like one more day out of it. Um, I used it today and I really liked how it looked over my tan face because um, this doesn't have very heavy coverage so it really worked with like um, evening out my skin tone but still letting my um, tanness come through. So I really like this. I mix these um, two products together. It's a really nice combination if you like a light um, foundation and I use my Real Techniques buffing brush and what I do is I mix these two on the back of my hand and then I um, like dab it together that's how I mix it and then I put like stripes on my face and I just like pounce the buffing brush on my face and um, for a second layer on my cheeks I'll just um, put it on and like lightly pounce it around and then I'll just let it sit and um, like just organize a few things and then um, like blend it in again. I'm not sure if it like really does anything. In my mind I think that it sinks in more and gives me a little bit more coverage or more of a natural finish. So I don't know. That's what I've been doing. I really like it and um, I cannot wait till this is gone. Seriously, I'm gonna be so proud because in my empties video I'll have two empty foundations and just wow you guys. I'm so excited about it. Um, for lips, the product that I've been trying to work on is the Rimmel um, Summer Angel. I'm wearing it now. I love this lipstick so much. Um, I have just a little nub left and this is my favorite lipstick ever. You guys know if you watch my videos. I love this. I love the packaging. I love everything about it. Um, it's a great nude for me. I think that it's very flattering and it really compliments um, when I self tan. So I love this so much. I'm trying to use it up because I have a backup and because I love it and want to get use out of it. So um, this is just what I've been wearing pretty much all week. 
For blush, um, when I have been experimenting with makeup and ever since I came home, I've been using the Azalea Blossom um, Blush Ombre from MAC. And um, you guys saw this in my haul yesterday. I love it so much. Um, I'm not wearing it today. I wore a Margin Blush from MAC and I really, really like this for like a sun-kissed look. But this is a beautiful blush if I want a cool tone um, cheek. Beautiful, beautiful. If you have this in your collection, pull it out again because I think it's perfect for spring, except we sort of passed over spring and now we're in summer. Who knows? I'm like ready for summer and I cannot wait to go to the beach, but I love this so much and I've been wearing, I wore it like twice. So that's repeated to me. Um, for eyeshadow bases or eyeshadow um, cream shadows, still working on my Benefit Creaseless Cream. I have this as a base today. Um, that's all that I have left just in that, um, the corner up here. Like I told you guys last week, I left the lid open, so this is very dry and sort of a moussey texture, um, but I'm gonna use it up. I was thinking about if it's too hard to work with, I'll just throw it out, but today I used it and it was fine. I just have to, like, it's a little more difficult than when it was, like, supremely creamy and everything, but, um, I'm gonna use this up. I'm gonna take it to the beach with me and hopefully it'll be gone by the time I come back from the beach. So that is almost done. What I've been wearing, um, because I didn't take this product, um, to school with me, so I've been craving to wear it. So I wore it yesterday and the day before, and it is my Chanel Illusions Dombre in Illusoire. You guys, this is like my favorite product ever, and I have to thank Jen again from the bottom of my heart. This is seriously one of the most amazing products, and it looks like I've used so much because it's a moussey texture, and I like dip my finger in to get a lot of product, so um, it looks like I've used a ton, but I think it's just because it's like more pressed down now. This is so beautiful. I love this so much. If you guys want to um, treat yourself to something, if you have been um, looking at one of these Illusions Dombre and you like um, sparkle on your eyes, this is so beautiful. I want Mirafique so bad, but I'm on a no buy until like a long time. And um, But when I have a little bit of money to spend, I would definitely buy Mirafique, which is the black with um, sparkles. These are beautiful for, I wear them during the day like you saw yesterday, um, but I think they're especially wonderful for going out at night if you have a date or if you're going out for a fun girls night or just doing anything kind of special and you want to feel really pretty. This is what I would suggest because it is beautiful. So thank you again, Jen. I love it. And um, if you have these in your collection and you haven't used it, pull it out because I'm so in love with it and it's new to me. So that's probably why I like keep using it all the time. But I think that this will be one of those things that I just always fall in love with every time I use it. So I love that so much. And then my last two things are body products. Um, like I said, I self tanned and I used the Norvell um, just gradual tanner on my body, which is nice. I, I got a nice color from it. I kind of messed up around my boob area. <laughs> But on my face, I pulled out this sample that I got from Nordstrom a while ago. It's the Zen Tan um, Face Tanner Luxe Daily Self Tan in Medium Slash Dark, which I was very afraid of. And it comes out like dark brown. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Come out. Oh, God. Okay, so it's dark brown. That looks so sexual. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys. Um... This is great. I applied just a little bit on um, my face last night after I did um, my whole routine and it gave me a nice color. I feel like it's very natural. Like I said, using the Nearly Naked let my um, tanness still come out but gave me an even um, skin tone. Really, really like this. This is going to last me a while because I don't need much because if I apply too much, I think I, it will just look very unnatural on my um, skin. So I am going to continue to use this probably every other day or so. And it says that it is instant color, time release, paraben free and oil free. So that's um, good if you're concerned about parabens or um, oils. So love this and I'm so glad that I got a sample of that because I'm very impressed so far. And then one other thing that I, for a while, I was like, this is so not worth the money. I don't know what I was thinking when I got this product, but I have fallen in love with it. And I think that it is worth the money, which is crazy. It is the Body Shop Creamy um, Exfol creamy Body Scrub in Vineyard Peach. I love this scent. It smells so fresh. Look how much I've used. Oh my God. 
just the smell oh my god it's divine and it's a creamy body scrub like it says so it's a really really creamy base it's much more creamy than the um saint ives apricot scrub i thought that was like a creamy base and everything this is like lotion with exfoliants in it it smells amazing and you can actually smell the scent when you're putting it on especially if you're um doing your arms and when i'm doing my legs i kind of like try to get closer to my legs so i can smell it because i'm crazy um but this is amazing to do um before you shave before you self tan it makes my skin feel so good. I love the creamy formula. I haven't tried their um, sugar scrub. I have the um, the chocolate sugar scrub that I haven't tried out yet. But this creamy body scrub, amazing. Um, I I like the tub design um, because you can get every last drip of it. But it's really annoying in my shower at least my shower both at school and at home I don't really have a place to put it besides like the edge of my um, tub and um, water like gets in it because I have to like leave the lid off and it's kind of annoying to me um, but I am kind of over it because it just works really well and it smells amazing and I can't get the lid on um, this is awesome. It's like $20. That's why I thought that it was not worth the money because the um, St. Ives one for like a, a thing that's double as big is like $6. I still like that one a lot and I would probably repurchase it, but this is such a treat, especially this scent. If you want to just um, get a body scrub that makes you feel very summery and works really, really well, I would recommend this Vineyard Peach one. It is, it's really, really great. So I love that. And that is everything. Um, my DKNY, look how little I have left of this perfume. I like this scent, but I will be so happy when it's empty. I, I want to finish this before I do my empties video. I have like a few little things that I'm like, these have to be done before I do an empties video. So um, hopefully my empties video will be like, whoa, totally amazing. Well, at least for me, because I finished up some things that I've been working on for a while and it makes me really excited. So um, I will probably have that up next weekend I don't know it'll probably be after my graduation um once everything dies down but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed um this weekly repeats and reviews I was thinking that I should like make up a theme song for this but no one wants to hear me sing let's be real no one no one wants to hear that um so um I'll just speak and not sing so then your ears will really thank me um so yeah that's everything I have to say to you guys and let me know what you have been using this week I will try to see you guys tomorrow before I head off to the beach um because I'll be there till Wednesday and then um, I'll have a video at least one other video up um, on Thursday I'll do a get ready with me for the Gaga concert actually I'll probably have it up I'm not sure when I'll get it up because I want to put um, I'm not sure when I'll get it up oh my god why is there so many innuendos in this video um, Okay, I'll probably have a get ready with me for the Lady Gaga concert up sometime after next Thursday because I want to put some clips from the concert if possible so um, look out for that in the next like week and a half and actually tomorrow's video will probably be my um, hair dye um, demo and review for the Madison Reed because I have to dye my hair tonight um, so that will probably be my video tomorrow and um, I don't know why I tell you guys all like the inner workings of my mind and all my plans but yeah that's what's gonna happen in the future so I hope you guys are having a great week have an amazing Friday do something fun or something relaxing and I will see you guys really soon